All right. If you're expecting a 12-hour breakdown on the Miami Dolphins draft, you might be a little bit disappointed. Only four selections and no top 100 selections. Obviously, this was, you know, just kind of a a natural reaction to when you got rid of Tyreek Hill. Like this was, or excuse me, when you got Tyreek Hill, this was kind of what was going to happen is you're going to lose the draft capital. You got Tyreek Hill. No one in this draft, I'm assuming, is going to be as good as Tyreek Hill. So you got that value, but then you don't get, uh, you know, the draft. You don't get the the nice players on rookie deals or anything like that. Doesn't mean you don't get any talented players, though. And starting with Channing Title, he seems like an interesting guy. It seems like he's someone who maybe didn't get an opportunity to really unleash and be an awesome player because he was a linebacker at Georgia. And obviously they had a, a ton of talented players there so maybe he just didn't get the opportunities that he would have gotten had he gone to a different school and so I think Miami is kind of banking on the fact that maybe he'll be better than what we have seen and he wasn't even bad necessarily when we did see him play uh so again pick 102 he was ranked 80 on the consensus big board so there's certainly some reason to be excited there um you also got Eric Izukanamwa so that's a (laughs) tough name to Pronounce another interesting guy at 6'3", 220. So bigger wide receiver. This feels like maybe a Devontae Parker replacement. I could see as just someone who can, you know, be kind of a contested catch guy. Um, you know, that's not really seemingly the guys that Tua loves, but hey, uh, it's still good to have someone like that in the room. Again, pick 125. You might not be getting tremendous value here. We then had two seventh rounders as well. So you first had, uh, you know, Cameron Good, who was the, Edge rusher who, uh, again, he was 335th on the consensus big board. Believe it or not, I did not watch every snap of Cameron Good. But from what I understand about him, he's, uh, you know, uh, could be an okay pass rusher. Probably just going to be a depth position. And they went with a quarterback here. So that's a little surprising when you, I feel like you do have some needs and didn't have a ton of draft capital. Uh, you went out and you got a, a quarterback. But part of me wonders, like, what, what, I guess... I don't know. I'm just confused, I think is what I would say. I don't fully understand why he was drafted. He wasn't spectacular in college or anything. Uh, And so I don't hate the idea of drafting a quarterback, even though you have such little draft capital, because there were some good quarterbacks in this draft class. Maybe you like Skylar Thompson, but it feels like a weird move. Again, I haven't fully evaluated a ton of Skylar Thompson. So if he's, you feel like he's really good and has quality backup potential, fine. Uh, I watched a lot of quarterbacks and he barely made my radar. So I don't know if I fully get this one whatsoever. Kind of a weird pick for me. So, uh, you know, again, they got some talented guys. I'm making a video for all of the NFL teams. The Dolphins are an NFL team. That is, uh, you know, something that is true. And again, they didn't have a ton of draft capital because they got Tyreek Hill. You got Tyreek Hill. So uh, that's cool. I think the title pick is pretty interesting too. So uh, not the worst draft in the world, given what the capital they had. That's what I think. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.